Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you are here. Today's topic is if you are questioning if what you're doing is working, your breakthrough is so close. Keep going. It's a long title. <laughs> but really, the title of the video says it all. You've got a goal in mind, something that you are in the process of achieving, creating. You're, you've been working out, you wanted to lose weight and get in shape for summer, so you started a couple of months ago and you're getting good sleep and you're drinking more water and you've changed so much, you've been going to the gym consistently, you're getting stronger and your body still isn't changing the way that you would hope it would change. You have a business idea or have been going for a promotion or you've been working on something. So you've been knocking on doors, making countless sales calls, learning uh, different techniques, reading books on sales strategies, but you can't seem to break through a certain level. You want to attract a partner into your life so you've been going out in the dating scene, you've been trying to figure out what's the type of person I wanna meet, going to different places, putting yourself out there, stepping outside your comfort zone, but you've been going on a bunch of dates and you're not clicking with anybody. You're doing all of these things that you know you need to be doing in order to achieve the goal, attain the thing, make whatever it is you're trying to make come to fruition to manifest but yet nothing seems to be working you're at the point now where you're questioning yourself you're doubting yourself nothing seems to be moving in other words even though you're doing all the things you've been putting in the work you've been trying to figure things out this video is specifically for you and a reminder that you are so close to your breakthrough the second you start doubting yourself and wondering if what you're doing is working, if things are gonna happen, if you need to change some stuff up. And maybe you do, and we'll talk about that. But if you're at the point where you're doubting yourself, you're questioning yourself, you're getting frustrated, you feel stuck, you're like nothing's happening. This video is to remind you and to share with you that you are so close to your breakthrough. And the more the closer you are to the knife's edge, the closer you are to giving up, the closer you are to your breakthrough. The more difficult things are right now, the closer you are to your breakthrough. The bigger the realization, the greater the reward. This is how it works, especially if you're doubting yourself, if you're questioning yourself, if you feel lost, if you feel frustrated, and you're putting in the work, that's the key. You gotta be putting in the work. You gotta be doing the things. You can't just sit back and hope and wish and wait because we live in a 3D reality and although you're ascending to a 5D consciousness and you're awakened now, we still live in a 3D reality so the physical actions still need to be done in order to manifest the physical result. So if you're putting in the work, that's the key. If you're not, that's where you gotta start. But if you have been putting in the work and doing the things, going to the gym, changing your diet, and you haven't seen the results. Again, this is your reminder, you are so close. You've just got to keep going, and you're right there. And the more frustrated you are, and the closer you are to giving up, the closer you are to your breakthrough. And the bigger the breakthrough will be, depending on the size of the challenge that you're overcoming. You're meditating, you're working out, you're posting content, you're working on your business, but nothing seems to be happening. You find yourself questioning if it's working, if you're healing, if any of this stuff is even doing anything, if you're getting in shape, if the business or strategy you're doing is effective, all the same thing. The doubt is kicking in. Keep going, you're so damn close. Right before we have our breakthrough, the universe is one, it's testing us, and it's also all of your momentum that's being built up is about to be released and had. If you think about when a rocket shoots off into the atmosphere, up into space, 
Think about how much power and energy, how much force it takes just to get off the ground initially. Once it's a couple hundred feet off the ground, it's not as difficult because now it has momentum. Right when it reaches the atmosphere, it takes so much force to break out of the atmosphere to the old cycle, the old way of doing things to create another dimension of yourself and ascend. It takes a lot of energy. And so right when you're tired and you're wondering if any of this is working, that is exactly the moment you keep going because you're very close. You've got to trust and let go and continue to move forward. The doubt, the questioning, is your ego holding on to dear life. So right before you have your breakthrough and you've been doing all of the things, the more difficult it is when the doubt kicks in, that is your ego. That is your ego setting in and saying, it's not working, you gotta start over. No, that is your ego trying to sabotage you because it knows that it has a knife to its, it's on the knife's edge and it's trying to literally hold on for dear life and keep you the same by instilling doubt into your mind and telling you to give up because it knows that that part of your ego, that persona that you used to have, it's about to die off. And the ego's job is to stay alive at all costs. To create that safe little box of an identity that you lived in for so long. Because you don't wanna ascend to the next level, oh no. There's all kinds of bad stuff that can happen there. Not at all. This is what you wanted. So you've got to keep going. The biggest breakthrough will happen from the biggest breakdown you have. And you may notice in your life, it all comes at once. You're, you know, going to the gym and you decide to start sharing, you know, your progress, how you're going in the gym on social media and someone posts a negative comment hating on you and that really affects you. And then um, you get really sick even though you've been consistent and you get a flat tire and you get in an argument at work and all this crap seems to be piling on you at once. Keep going, you're right there. That's what happens. Because that is your final test to pass through. You're right there. The doubt, the questioning is your ego holding on for dear life. It's trying to get you to stop what you're doing and stay the same so it can be safe and stay the same so your ego can survive. Right when it's most stagnant and it feels like nothing is working, even though you've been doing all the work, you're right on the verge of a major breakthrough. I've seen this happen a couple, many times in different examples when I was a trainer. One of my uh, old clients, Diane, man, I love Diane. I got to get in touch with her. She worked out with me for years but really she hadn't done anything for a long time and we worked together for the initial first four months or so. She really didn't see a lot of results. She was working out five days a week. She was eating protein, she was drinking water, she's focusing on her sleep, she's doing all these things but wasn't seeing a ton of results. But I kept telling her, I'm like, you are kicking ass, like keep going, you're right there, trust me, it's gonna happen. I promise you, literally, I mean, literally, it was crazy. She kept pursuing and persevering. We'd come in, she's getting stronger and stronger and better and better. She's getting more endurance. She, you know, she she could literally see in her workouts, we're recording them, right? It's very quantitative when you're working out. I'm recording the weights, we're doing the workouts. She's getting stronger. Four, she's eating right. She's eating as many calories. She's doing all the things four months she's like god i am just like why am i not seeing results and stuff and i was like just be patient trust me it's gonna come i promise you when we hit month five month six it was like almost overnight all of the weight fell off her clothes didn't even fit her anymore she felt better in her life than she had ever felt and it took that long she was so close to giving up or is what we're doing working is this like what i mean am i doing the right things like uh, all this doubt was kicking in i was like i promise you i swear to god It was like overnight. It happened within like a week or so. None of her clothes fit her. She had to go buy all new clothes. She had more energy. She was so excited. Literally could not recognize herself in the mirror. Husband was like, whoa, honey, holy crap. You look way different. And she knew from then on, she's like, oh, I get it. And now, man, what a gift she was to me. And hopefully I was to her. And I know she still trains with one of my buddies uh, back in Hermosa Beach, who's a trainer and opened his own gym. And she's in good hands there, but she's just been crushing it ever since. She changed her entire life, her entire identity, her body. 
but it was so tough and she was losing faith right before her breakthrough. Uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about this in his med meditations. A lot of the times people will do his meditations, his quantum meditations, where you're tapping into the quantum field in order to create your reality from energy rather than matter. Your energy changing energy rather than energy changing matter, which is what you're learning about. If you don't know about Dr. Joe Dispenza, I highly recommend looking into his work, watching lectures that he has. He's all over the internet, all the podcasts, all the things. Read his books. It's incredible. And he always says that people come to him during his meditations for doing them, sometimes for years six months, eight months, a year. And they're just like, am I doing this right? Am I like, is this even working? Is this even doing anything? I'm not seeing any results. He says over and over without a doubt, people will come to him and he says that moment when you come against your level and you're questioning yourself, I say, and they question, is this even working? He's like, that's when I say you're so close, keep going. And that's when they have their breakthrough because you're literally coming up against yourself you're coming up against your own limitation. And again, your ego wants you to stay the same so you can stay safe, but you're ready to break right through that wall. And those doubts, the fears, the questioning is your ego's last attempt, its final breath to hold on before you get through. So you've been doing the things, you're building the momentum, keep going, it's right there. Trust, let go, continue to work, do the things. I shared this story before and if you've ever read the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill if you have not it's another great one there's a literal chapter called Three Feet from Gold where he talks about Uncle Darby who goes out to California and wants to strike it rich on the gold rush and hits a nice vein of gold so goes back to his family gets all the money to invest buys all the equipment goes all in this gold site brings I think his nephew with him and they drill and they drill and they drill and he's like, this is useless. The gold vein disappeared, whatever. So he sells all the equipment to a junk man or somebody that's in town, but the junk man gets an expert opinion, has the prospector come out and say, yeah, all that happened was you hit a fault line, California earthquakes, right? You hit a fault line. And then if you just keep digging, you're gonna hit this huge gold vein because it's just a fault line that fractured. So you just needed to keep going because there was a disconnect in the gold, the gold vein. And then the junk man goes and he extracts millions and millions of dollars back during the gold rush days, whatever it was, 30s, 20, you know, 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s. I don't know. I can't remember when the gold rush was earlier. Well, now I want to know when the gold rush was. I have to brush up on my California history. Anyways, millions of dollars, three feet from gold from where the Darby's stopped digging. So right when you want to give up means you're the closest to having your breakthrough right there you know you're doing all the things you're being that version of yourself you imagine yourself in that summer bikini you imagine yourself on the beach with a six-pack you've been eating right you've been eating your protein you've been lifting the weights you can tell you're not you're not there you're so close you're being that person that version of yourself the results will come the 3d that we live in is a dense energy it takes a second for the matter to catch up with the energy. So it's created energetically in your mind and you're doing the things to manifest it. It just takes time. Come up against yourself, you're right there. You're at your limit, breakthrough. You're about to break through, it's about to be beautiful. Keep going. Quotes for today. You always face the greatest struggle right before the biggest breakthrough. One of the things that came to mind also, I did this emotional intelligence course up in Los Angeles uh, years back, and I went deep in that course, and it really helped. Um, kind of crazy stuff to it, too, but anyways, that's an, for another time. We used to call it breakdown to breakthrough. Right when you're breaking down, something difficult is happening in your life, you're, even in yourself on a day-to-day, -day, you're literally feeling different, uh, difficult emotions come up and arise that you weren't aware of before, but now your awareness is increasing, your vibration is, is raising, it's rising. As your vibration rises, things start coming to the surface that weren't you weren't aware of before, but now since your energy is lighter, the heaviness can't help but come to the surface because the light is being shown on the dark side of you. Right when you have that stuff come up and you're breaking down, you're crying, you're in tears, everything is so difficult, nothing's working in my life, you're about to have a breakthrough called breakdown to breakthrough. So if you're in a place in your life right now where you're breaking down in one area of your life or nothing seems to make sense or you don't know who the hell you are or what you wanna do, 
keep going, you're on the right path. Your old identity is shedding away. You're creating a whole new life for yourself and you're on the verge of a big breakthrough. And it doesn't stop, guys, right? There's levels to this stuff and it never stops until you become an enlightened being and then you won't be on planet Earth because your karmas are cleared. But it's a journey. But as you begin to practice this way of growing little by little, you'll start to see the results. Or in a major way, you have big step ups and you do a quantum jump every now and then you're like, whoa. But as your awareness continues to expand your consciousness, you grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, professionally, etc. You will have these moments of realization and go, holy crap, I really am a different person. This really is amazing. Break down to break through, keep going. The resistance is greatest at the end. Think about when someone's climbing to the top of a mountain, a major mountain. They're going climbing Mount Everest. I wonder if I'll ever do that. I would like to. Anyways, imagine in the beginning at base camp. It's difficult the whole way through, but where is it most difficult? It's most difficult right before you reach the peak because you're exhausted. You've been climbing for days in extreme conditions. You lost a bunch of weight. It's most difficult because you've been putting in so much work and time and effort. Right before you reach the peak is when it's most difficult because you're so freaking tired. You've been putting in all this work. But then when you get to the top... Whoo, man, beautiful. Oracle card of the day. We tap three cards, clear the energy of the previous reading, ask for the purest and most divine truth, and my highest good, your highest good, and the highest good of all. What do we have today about breaking through? Ooh, I guess this is the one. This is crazy. Yeah, we've been pulling a lot of the same cards lately uh, as I've been doing these, but... So we got three of Ariel. Look at the card first. See what resonates with you in the picture. That's your soul speaking to you. Reflect on it. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career, artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. You're in a time of great, great personal growth. And you're about to have breakthroughs and the physical manifestations are about to happen. Dive into what you love and do not stop and understand when it gets difficult, you're about to have a breakthrough. If you're questioning if it's working, you're about to have a breakthrough. If all these things are happening at once, it feels like your world is crumbling down. It's because it is. You're about to have a breakthrough and rebuild a whole new one that's better that you wanted. It's what you asked for. It's on the way. This is the work. This is the work. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Do what you love. It's important to follow your passions and do your very best work. There's a great talent and skill present. The task at hand can be a joyful experience and may bring recognition or financial rewards. This is a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a happy, cooperative manner is important. Get the input of those around you, but don't be afraid to confidently share your ideas. Additional meanings of the card, a labor of love, being paid to be creative, awareness of your potential being a mentor to others keep going don't give up don't question yourself embrace that time even that's powerful when you're in that time of breakdown and your world is crumbling down and things are most difficult embrace it oh grab onto it you're about to have a big breakthrough love you guys so much see you next time peace